everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andres Jose Salazar. Today I'm going to do a little uh, drawing here. I'm going to do a little watercolor sketch, kind of mixed media stuff. Uh, this is going to be, I'm doing reference this time, so this is not automatic drawing. I'm going to draw a picture I took in Arkansas a couple months ago. I went there to do some research for my new graphic novel, Shangri-La. And uh, it takes place in these trailer parks in Arkansas. And so I went there, I actually drove all the way to Arkansas to take photos, do some reference work. And here's one of the trailer park trailers that I took. So I'm just gonna do a little quick sketch and uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, let me figure out what I wanna do here. Do I wanna put it where I wanna put it? I wanna put it right in the middle. I wanna give it some, some fun, funness to it. So maybe we'll put it down here. The rule of thirds, right? Okay. Now I could use a ruler if I wanted to, if I wanted to be as, as fancy as that. And every now and then I will. I generally don't. But you know what? What the hell? Let's put some. Let's do some ruler in. And we're gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. Is that about right? Da, da, da. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's actually here a little bit. So I'm not too worried about it. And then this actually kind of comes out. The trick is, I'm doing this pretty quickly. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I'm not making some kind of finished work. I'm just kind of like playing with it a bit here, not getting too worried about making. I want it to have some energy to it still and not get too bogged down. That's usually why I don't use rulers uh, because it does kind of like, I feel like bog things down sometimes. As far as just the speed and everything. That's just my own like take on it. And this one, this is actually kind of interesting because it actually does go and mm, actually gonna go off a little bit to the side here. And then just kind of fade things off like that. It's kind of an interesting trailer. This is like an add-on. They have like they made an addition to it, which is quite strange. So I got that, and then actually now I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is we're going to put color down here in a minute. Um, I'm just going to erase a little bit. And what I'm doing now is I just want to erase a little bit because I don't need all this pencil on here, but I got enough to where I think I know what I'm going to do. So. I can still see everything. It's just erased a little bit. Probably won't matter too much because we're gonna put so much color. Uh, so now I'm gonna do a couple of dabs. A couple of dabs will do ya. Uh, and we're gonna play with this. I need to get some scratch paper real quick.
what's better scratch paper than the back side of a Patreon thing I gave out. Okay. Okay, it doesn't work. I'm just gonna use my sponge. I've started using the sponge, as you guys know from the last video. Lately, I just thought like, you know, I'll start using this stupid sponge. Just for fun. I'm gonna do that real quick, just a little bit of this. I might put a little green in here, maybe just some dots of green. Okay, that's good enough. And then this thing is this is like all grays. Now this is a lot of grays. We're not gonna use grays. We're gonna use I'm gonna use kind of like a purplish blue, I think, I think for my grays. So we're gonna give this little color. You know, there's a rule that some people say, don't you ever use true black. You know, use colors to mix your to make your black. And I think that does I think that does there's something to that. And I think for this, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try not to use too many like actual grays. We're just gonna put down a couple things here. We're just block, we're just, really, I'm just kind of blocking things, you know? I'm just kind of blocking, blocking stuff out. We're gonna put a lot more color, for sure. I mean, a lot of the stuff's gonna be colored, but I just wanted to kind of like block stuff out here. Um, yeah, okay, so there's that. I might even do this, I might even like go into this a little bit, kind of like. No, you know what? I don't want to do that actually. I might do my my blues here first. I might do my blues. Okay. Um, there's a little bit of this. They use this um, pine. This uh, like two by not two by four. What do you call it? Pine wood here. So I'm gonna block this right here. Again, super light. You see how light this is? I mean, this is like super light. This is gonna be almost black. It's gonna be really, really rich right there. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of darkness. 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 Darkness, right here, darkness, okay. That, 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 and then we're going to put some blues. I'll use my little sky blue. Okay, I'm just using this little palette. These are actually Winsor Newton um, watercolor paints that I um, dried in a gray, and I dried these out so you can kind of like take them places and travel with them. And I really like these a lot. So that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll even use my, my my big Chinese brush here for this stuff. Let me brush this out, so I'm really gonna put too much. And this is just there's some clouds here. Let's we'll put a couple clouds here. So we can see what's going down. Okay. That's it. I'm just putting a little bit of happy happy clouds. Some happy clouds. A little bit more intensity, a couple spots here and there, and that's it. Okay, the rest of this is just happy clouds. Okay, now we're gonna let that dry, uh, and then we're gonna be adding more layers. But I'm just gonna be keeping adding layers and layers. Now I'm using, I'm not using watercolor paper, honestly. I'm just using this cheap paper, so it's gonna buckle. If I really wanted to make it nice. Definitely tape it down, take this off the pad, put it on a nice hardboard, masonite or something, and then tape it out. I'm not, because I don't really care that much about this, right? I'm just doing, this is just a sketch. This is just like to kind of play around. We're not worrying about, this is not going, this is not going nowhere. If you're trying to sell this, this is for a client, something like that, maybe I would say definitely use some arches or, you know, 
at least in better paper. But for this, it's good enough. Now, next, um, next we're gonna kind of start adding some some stuff to it. So what I want to do now is I could use I could use pen and I could just like pin this all up, but I kind of want to use I'm gonna do the pin last. So what I think I'm gonna do is I might use a hard, I might use my little fun uh, edge of my paint. So let me do that, get my other stuff here. Okay, and now I got a couple of my Hydrus watercolors, things like that. I'm gonna just add a little bit more, another layer of color to this. Uh, we're gonna mix some things up here. All right, we're just gonna start bringing up the intensity of stuff. This has this little hitch here. I'm gonna put the hitch in. Little hitch there, it's got a little deal me whacker stuff. Put that in. We're gonna start putting in some other, some darker, darker stuff here. What if I, what if I did that? Created that, okay. This has got some lattice work here. We're gonna just like put this in. And this actually might be good to, to pencil. I actually think I will use pencil on this. I just wanna make sure I get this right. There's a little piece right here. And this is a piece. And then there's a couple little spots. There's this. Let's get a bigger. Actually, let's, let's use this guy. Yeah, damn it. Okay. Two can play at that game. Now I'm going to have to go hard on you. Okay, see what you, see what you made me do? I had to get this guy out now, dang it. Look at this. Yep. I'm just gonna put some of these nice hard, nice hard blacks in here just to kind of give it some nice structure. And I'm gonna do a lot, and then this is actually, yeah, there's some bars here too. I'm gonna put a bar there, bar there, bar there. Some nice little things going on. Okay. What is this color? Okay. So I'm just going to color these guys in. Just mix a little bit of blue, a little bit of brown in here together. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, we're doing wonderful here in the compound and wonderful San Buenaventura, California. So we're doing great. Everybody's healthy. We're a little cooped up. We're getting a little stir crazy with the cooped upness. But other than that, I think we're doing well. But it's been a little tricky with just you know, everybody freaking being home all the time. It ain't easy. But uh, I can't complain. I can't complain. Let's see, we're just putting a little bit more, you know, you can see I just, just put a little bit more definition. We're just kind of getting into this a little bit more. Da, 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 da. Just getting in this a little bit more. OK. 
Okay, again, try not to use black directly. I'm trying to use other stuff. See, just what's nice about watercolors, you can kind of layer it on there, nice, nice lack. Okay. Okay. I like that. Pretty fun. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And actually, why don't we do the windows? We'll just do nice little things like this. Beep beep beep. Yep. That works. Do it again. Beep, beep, and beep. There. Good enough for now. Same thing on the other side. Trying to screw it up. Beep, beep, beep. Just happens to be the exact width of my brush. <laughs> that just, uh, that's the way we're gonna do it here, guys. <laughs> beep, beep, and beep. Okay, good. And then we'll put a little bit more over here. This is kind of an add-on, looks like the, uh, the owner or whatever did an add-on to it, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is, let me just, okay, I just changed the uh, the lighting just a tiny bit, just so that when um, you see the, the drawing in the top corner, you can see everything good. I just thought, you know what, let's try this, see if this works. I don't even know if it's gonna work. We're gonna give it a freaking shot. I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, uh, good, 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 good. Okay, so. That's cool. Now, let me put some of these trees. Actually, with the trees, let's use this. We're gonna do some trees. Trees can be tricky, but trees can be fun. And we're gonna make these damn trees fun. We're not gonna stress out about them. Cause we know what a tree looks like. We ain't gotta worry about it. Ain't gonna fret about no tree. Right? It's, it's a tree, dang it. I'm just putting down these trees. Don't worry about no tree. Ain't afraid no ghosts. Just boom, boom, boom. It's a tree. It's a tree. There. Big ass tree. Here we go. In fact, I don't even like that brush. I would use a bigger brush. I probably will. Okay. So we did that. Uh, we really need to put all these little guys, and we need to start putting in some kind of the the other like stuff. So let's build some of this out. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put another layer of this tan color stuff here because it's plywood. We put this, this here, got this like plywood going. Let me actually see if I can erase. See, I like to erase if I can because I don't like to have the pencil in. Sometimes it's cool to have pencil in there, but sometimes it ain't. I kind of want to just erase all that. Beefing it up a little bit, just a little bit. Might not make too much sense to you. If you look at this, you're like, what the hell is that? But it's that's what they did. They said, you know what? So jacked up, we're using some freaking some stuff on this. There you go. Okay. How's your mama? Okay. Going there. We were using purple. Where's that? What was what was this purple I made? Is that what this was? See what that purple was? Yeah, it was something like this. Some of this stuff can you know it can come over a dry brush look. You can do that later. this yes today was good the kids were were decent today no one no one killed each other 
you know, we're trying to live this new lifestyle or whatever you want to call this until we get everything freaking worked out. And it is stressful. But everybody's healthy and we didn't kill each other today. So that was all freaking positive. That was all good news. That was the good news today. Okay. Yeah, I actually kind of like this little bit of brown kind of mixed in here. I think it looks, it looks kind of cool. Okay, and this sh siding stuff, we're gonna, we're gonna, maybe I won't make a little bit of black. Let me put this a little bit. Let me see what that does. Yeah. I kind of want to get that, the, the brush strokes going down a little bit because I want it to show that it's, the the grain is going down on this. So, you know, I'm trying to show that a little bit. And then the grain on this is going this way, right? So. What do you know? This is not looking not too bad. We are gonna put some brown in here though. Hmm, it's too much. Okay, and I actually want this to even look a little even dingier. We'll worry about that in a minute. Okay, we gotta put more trees. Let's see how big this brush. I might have to go to a different brush. I might actually. Let's go to this other brush that I've got. I'm just, just reading off the, the uh, photo of what's going on here. Just that's all I'm doing. Nothing too exciting. Although it's looking kind of neat. And you know, you can go crazy with this, of course. Or you can kind of just be, be chill about it. It's really up to you how far you want to go on this uh, deal. Oh, snap! what happens sometimes you're flinging paint around while you're doing a YouTube video uh, did you see that and just big old lo loogie of paint just came right up on me I was not expecting that yeah we need more pent and more There's got some there's some trees here too. I wanted to capture some of these little guys, these little little fellas. There's one right here which is pretty fun. And another one right there. It's nice because these little trees create this nice little foreground and really give this some depth, you know which would not normally have if it didn't have these little trees here. So it actually kind of helps, I think. And then there's a bunch of these little little guys, these little wispy, wispy little dudes. All these little wispy dudes here. So they're like runners and stuff. Be 
careful with those though. Okay. Um, Yeah, this is actually looking pretty good. Okay. Not bad, Salazar. Every now and then. But I won't count it quite yet because there's still plenty of time for me to ruin this. There's plenty of time. And I will find a way. <laughs> we'll find a way to ruin this. Okay. One of the things I got to do is okay. That's enough of that business. Let me just put a little bit of purple in there. So what are those things? Little vents. those things are. Okay. We're starting to pitch just a little bit more detail and stuff. I'm not gonna remember this is a sketch. We don't need to go crazy. We don't need to go hard on this. We're just a little bit more on here and to me all the fun stuff is this little porch here this little porchy area which is tons of fun all those depth and shadows and stuff and there's just all kinds of colors here that we like Same over here. do it on time. Ooh, we're a little over half an hour. I did not want to go that far. So we're going to have to go farther than that because I really want this to be a little bit more finished before I pull the plug on this mama. It's Mama Joe. So I'm going to go a little bit farther than I was going to plan originally because I want to be a little bit better. We gotta put a lot more of these these little branches and stuff. A lot more branches. I mean, you know, we gotta like make this look proper. Maybe this brush is a little bit better for that.
we could even put a little bit more sponge. We could even try to put some sponginess to this. That might actually help as well. Let me uh, just wipe this down just a tiny bit. So I don't mind doing that. I don't mind doing that. started to dabble a little bit more. Whoa, mama. That was a little bit more than I wanted. But maybe not, I don't know. Shit's okay, it's okay. I'm not a sponge guy. Honestly, you guys, I'm like doing this kind of for the first time in some ways because I'm not like Mr. uses sponges for his freaking stuff. I've seen people do it, so I'm kind of going by like instinct in a way, but this is not my like methodology I use to be very transparent. So if it looks crappy, that's because I don't know what I'm doing. If it looks cool, then what do you freaking know, right? Salazar is doing something right. Um, and, you know, who knows? It's kind of fun, though. Actually, actually, it's not bad. It's a little bit more green than I want, but I could change that with just putting more brown. And the problem is this brown is really freaking reddish. What I need is this. What I need is this freaking thing. How's that? Because yeah. I, want, I, I want these, there's leaves. There's like all these leaves here that I wanted to kind of capture. And I, and uh, there's, there's a lot of darkness right here and I wanted to kind of get some of that, that in there. I think that actually kind of works okay. Yeah, it works okay. There's actually a lot of, a lot of greenery and stuff over there on the, that corner. This here, I don't like any of this white. This none of this should be white back here. This all needs to be colored of some type or another. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm starting to feel. I'm starting to feel it a little bit. You guys see what I'm going for? Do you see kind of what I'm, what I'm, what I'm jamming at here? Oh man, you know what? Your video does not look as good as this thing in person. So there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, now I'm tempted to go in now with the inks and like really kind of jazz it up. Um, I'm also tempted to use some browns and get a little bit more abstract with my with my business here. And so let me just see what I can do here. Let me just kind of play with this for just a minute or two. Let me just kind of like, you know, see what we can do. Because I feel like uh, it does need some, some energy. And so I want to give it a little bit of that. And some of this is still not quite black enough. I want it to be a little bit darker um, in this drawing, it's really dark. Like this here's got some good, but there it's not. So I wanna, and this freaking paint is just so damn crusty. Okay. It's crusty. Okay.
don't like that. In that one spot. Let me clean it up. Maybe I should not have put brown up here. It doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Let me clean it up. See if I can absorb it off. I wanted it darker, but the brown doesn't work really work there. It needs to be a cooler color. Okay. Um... We could even do this with the trees too. We could just like really go, go to town on some of these little branches and stuff. Make it gives it a little bit more energy, you know. Yeah, that that does feel good. I did this. Am I gonna regret this? Probably. This is usually the point where I'm like, okay, it's beyond the whatever minute. Crap's gonna happen. <laughs> Salazar's gonna ruin it. Okay. Um, It's all about, we know this is a tree, right? You don't have to make each branch perfect, you know, cause it's like, okay, this is a tree. This represents tree. You know what that is. That's good enough, right? That's the way I kind of see it. So it's like, if you get the spots that you know, like, okay, this represents the tree. This represents the this. Then I feel like you're where you need to be. And you know what I need to do? I need to switch colors. That's my problem because what I want to do. Let's do that. And get some of this in there. Yeah. That's what I was supposed to do before. I wasn't thinking.
Okay. It's kind of fun. I mean, it's just a sketch, dude. Um, I think we've been going so long. I think we're ready to call it. I'm going to let this dry for a second. I'm going to do some inks. I'm going to ink a little bit more, and then I think we're going to call it. Okay, everybody, it's dried, and now we're going to do the last little bit here. I'm going to put some blacks on here. And uh, the, really, the, the idea is to just kind of solidify some of the things I was playing with previously. And just kind of make it just a little bit more solid. So I'm just going to put some blacks here. You know what? This repeated graph is almost dead. Darn it. So that's okay. So I just want to kind of like, again, this is just a sketch, so we're not going too hard on all the details. And I, if I want to spend even more time, we really can get into all the things. But because uh, there's so much dry brushing and things like that we could do. Um, but for this purpose, we're just doing a couple of things here just to kind of call it out. I'm going to get this door done well. Get these windows just right. Same thing over here. Okay, get that. Over here, let's get these window seals. These, there's some nice big lines right here. And I actually do want to get this, this like, um, and no one says you have to do it solid, right? I'm just gonna do it like that. looking too scratchy at all because I think for something like this it makes sense that it would be kind of more scratchy right this pen is a little gloopy though I don't know why it's doing that I kind of want to get a little dry brush on here too. I don't feel worn out, but I want to. Um, okay.
I might, I might just stop here like this and just kind of like stop here. And I might actually put a little bit more dry brush in here just to put a little bit more texture and some more details along this. So I think I am gonna do that actually. This is the focal spot right here, of course, but I do wanna put a little bit more textures in here. So we're gonna do that real quick. And then I'm gonna put some splatters as well, some whites and things, just to give it a little more uh, flavor. So we're gonna do that. In fact, um, I could do that right now. Let me get my brush I like to use for kind of dry brushing stuff. Uh, where's my dry brushing brush? Got my toothbrushes. Howard Chaikin, actually. Um, he's got a bunch of bad brushes he uses for this kind of stuff. And when I was an assistant for him, with him for like two months or so, I was pretty short because uh, I got a job on Santa at the time. Um, he showed me some cool stuff. Okay. I just want to put a little bit of texture on something. And actually, I kind of want to. I want to put, I want these real black too. Uh, I know I said I wasn't going to, but I think I am changing my mind. Maybe I'll use a little bit of blue black. I just want to put, you see what I'm doing? I'm just adding a little bit more. I'm actually using a little blue black. Just want to put a little bit more here. I just feel like, I think it needs it. color type stuff in here. I need, hang on, screw it. We're gonna go full ink. Screw it, let's go full ink. Those are putting around, I need to stop screwing around with it, let's do it. When in doubt, Biscuit, use this. Um, I need good paper too. Use my little strip. This is my little strip. So this is like an actual proper ink. The problem with that watercolor crap is it's just watercolor crap. I want full on black. So see that? That's what I'm talking about. This is what I need. I need to put this up in there. I need to put this up here.
noggin like 10 minutes, but I'm just trying to... Hang on. Wait a second. We'll keep going. Okay. Okay, we're doing the final touches here, guys. We're at the home freaking stretch, and I know this has become a lot longer than either of us thought it would be. <laughs> um, but by golly, sometimes then that's what it takes. Sometimes you gotta just go all the freak out. And I felt like, you know what? Let me just this turned into a sketch that turned into something more than that. And, I, and it's still a sketch, but I just wanted to put a little bit more fun, creepy crawly stuff, triangles. Let's put a little bit more in here. Ah, it's a little bit too much. And you know what, baby, I could do is I could put um, some white and use white as that. So maybe that's what I'll do here in a second. I'll use white as a way to do that as well. Give me a second. and stuff feel free to use your finger you know just put a little more texture in here that's fine whoa that's a lot that's a little bit more than I wanted to put there it's okay 
Something like that. Just give it a little bit more flavor. Okay. There we go. Now I think we're we're good. The problem was there wasn't enough value here. There was just it was a little bit too light. I wanted this to be darker. In fact, I might even go a little bit even darker on these guys. Um because it's like abandoned kind of a vibe. And this needs to be dark too because it should be freaking white. That's for dang sure. Now we're gonna put um, we're gonna do a couple more little things, and I think we're good actually. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, we're getting there. How are we doing on time? We're doing great. We're a little over. It's okay. Um, I want to put some green. I want to put a little bit more green. I actually want to put some nice hard greens in here. I don't want to go crazy, but I do want some greens. Let me look here. What do I get when I do this? What if I go just, just a little bit? Just because I want these, I want, I want there to be like green in here, you know? And there, there should be some green here a little bit. Now, I thought, the, I had the idea just now, of like, what if I used white? And what if I used white? And I said, okay, white. What if I use you as a way to show some texture too? Like old paint, you know what I mean? So I thought that might be kind of nice. So, what if I just did this? No, not a lot, just... That's kind of fun. And I could even like... And this, again, it gives it a little bit more gesture look too, which I think is fun. Give it just a little bit more like feel to it. That's yeah, kind of fun. And maybe we'll even put a little splatter, maybe. We'll see. Just a tiny bit and see what that does to this edge here. Let's just play with it and see what happens. Uh, worst case, worst case I ruin it, right? <laughs> Sure, it's necessary. Yeah, I'm not sure it's doing anything really that I don't. Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it's needed. Mm, value wise, I think I'm okay. I would actually like a little bit darker right there. Why don't I just put a little bit more? I'm just looking at some of the darknesses on the ground here at the edge, and I feel it's a little light. So, I'm gonna put a little bit more of that in there, and then I think we're and then we're done, guys. 
We are done. Done, done, done. Okay. Um, so let's move all this crap. Okay. So we're going to put, we're going to use this green. We're going to use this black. We're going to put some brown. We're going to make a little goulash of muddy weirdness. And I'm going to put just a little bit more. Especially over here. I feel like it needs it. And then here too. Feels a little bit too light. It needs to be a little heavier. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna go crazy on it. Although it's fine to go crazy here because there's a little shadow right there. Okay, that's it. Now I'm gonna just lift a little bit up with my sponge. It's not bad. Okay, that's it. We're done. That's good enough. A little sketch. Took a little longer than I thought, but I thought it was fun. Uh, thanks a lot, you guys, for watching. Bye.